Welcome back to my channel, Exceptional Equine, and I am super, super glad to finally be sitting in front of this camera for you guys. It has honestly felt like ages since I uploaded a video, and I have missed you guys so, so much, and it just feels really, really good to be back. So if you did not see my recent updates video and you're wondering where I was, or if you're noticing my new background change and you're just like, what the heck is going on? Um, I did mention that me and my family were moving to a different house, so that is why I missed quite a few uploads in August, um, just because life got really, really busy and really, really hectic, and um, so a lot of things happened, and I really wasn't able to upload, and I apologize sincerely for that. Um, but I am hopefully back now um, with my regular scheduled every Saturday videos, and um, yeah, life is just fabulous. So we did move in. Um, the house is great so far. Um, I really, really love my room. It's kind of just me, and I really, really love it. And I will definitely be doing a room tour in the future. Um, some of you agree that you wanted me to make one. Um, and I personally love watching room tours, so I really wanted to do one anyway. Um, so definitely a room tour coming soon. Um, and also, um, my Q&A is still open for questions. I also mentioned that in my updates video. If you use the hashtag AskEkiQuan on any of my videos and the question is not too personal, I will try my best to put it and answer it in my Q&A. I am really, really excited. I love Q&As and... Um, yeah, I hope you guys are too. And also, thank you so, so much to all my new subscribers. I have quite a few of you guys, and it's really, really amazing, and I'm glad you are here. So let us get into the actual video. So I am doing episode three of the Equine Book Corner, and I know I said I was going to do this every month, but as you can tell, that did not happen at all. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, solely for the reason I just really didn't want to and I wasn't enjoying making them. Um, and I, yeah, that's why. I'm sorry. The book I'm going to be reviewing is High Hurdles Collection 2 by Lorraine Snelling. Um, I do not own Collection 1, nor have I ever read it, um, just because that was the they only had collection two at the bookstore and I just picked it up and read it because it looked good. Um, so I'm going to start off by saying that this is a Christian book. So if you are bothered by religion, if you're bothered by Christianity, um, if you don't like that kind of stuff, I really wouldn't read this. Um, but if you aren't bothered by it or if you're a Christian yourself, um, I would really suggest at least giving it a try and see if you like it yourself. Um, so there's about five books in each collection, uh, meaning there's about ten books in total, and it just follows the life of DJ Randall, and it's kind of based around the fact that she is dreaming of going to the Olympics to be a show jumper. Um, so it's just kind of her journey with her and her horses, and, um, you know, her equestrian life and her normal life, and... Just the whole journey towards going to the Olympics. One thing I personally really enjoy in a horse book is when it's not solely about the equestrian life, when they have other aspects like, you know, maybe their school life or the family problems they have. I really enjoy that because I feel like it makes it a lot more relatable um, to the reader and kind of, in a sense, more realistic. Um, I don't know if that's just me. That's just kind of what I enjoy. So there's quite a lot of that in this book. Um, it's not just about her equestrian life, you know, she has family issues, you know, she has fears. Um, she's portrayed, you know, like a normal person, like one of us, unlike a lot of other book characters and other books, um, where they're just kind of like book characters, but, um, I feel like you really get to know DJ and you kind of get connected to her and, um, you're kind of an emotional wreck at the end of it because you are just... You know, you're happy. Um, I cried at the end of this, um, which is actually not saying much because I cry during everything. I'm a really emotional person, especially when it comes to like movies. And I'm pretty sure I cried during Ant-Man. Um, I'm gonna put that out there. I'm pretty sure I did. 
Um, so me crying at the end of this is not saying much, um, but I don't know. I just really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really sweet story and um, it's pretty relatable, um, at least for me. So that is about all I have to say for this book. I will link both Collection 1 and Collection 2 in the description. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you read this book, definitely let me know what you guys think of it, um, if you liked it or you hate it. And don't forget to mention your own equestrian books, and they could be featured in a future episode of the Equine Book Corner. Um, I love you guys all, and just stay fabulous. <laughs> Bye!